we have a special opportunity, a special privilege for me especially, <clears throat> to dedicate to Anna Rose Carson unto the Lord this morning. And so we're going to begin with that with a scripture from Proverbs chapter 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him. He will direct thy paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord. Turn away from evil. It will be healing to your soul, healing to your body, and refreshment to your bones. Honor the Lord from the, your wealth, <clears throat> from the first of all your produce, so that your barns will be filled with plenty, your vats overflow with new wine. My son, do not reject the discipline of the Lord or loathe his reproof. For whom the Lord loves, he reproves, even as a father corrects the son in whom he delights. How blessed then is the man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding. For her profit is better than the profit of silver, her gain better than fine gold. She's more precious than jewels, and nothing you desire compares with her. And now I'd like to introduce Anna Rose and Gianna, her mother, and Brad, her father, if you all would come up. You can come either side, <laughs> that'll work too. Get some of the things a little bit out of the way. Her, niece, her uh, cousin Alden was uh, dedicated a few months ago wearing this same uh, dress, which is um, actually what's left of my wife's wedding dress, <laughs> which she uh, created a little uh, a christening gown from. And Gianna said, Dad, don't make me stand here too long, so. So I guess I'd better move ahead and not enjoy the moment too much. Huh? It's our privilege today to participate in the public dedication of Anna Rose Carson, who was born April 9th, 2007. We're following the example of devout parents of the, of the Bible. And uh, Brad and Gianna have expressed their desire to present Anna Rose to the Lord. This dedication may not require the supreme sacrifice like that of Abraham, who was called on to offer his son on the altar, or... Hannah, who uh, left her son Samuel to serve in the temple with Eli. However, it is a sober commitment to, to responsibly care for that which God has given and to pre be prepared to release her unto his work when that time comes. Jesus demonstrated his acceptance and love of the little children when he said, Suffer the little children to come unto me. Forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. He took them up in his arms and he put his hands on them and blessed them. Primary responsibility for the care of Anna Rose, of course, rests on the parents, Brad and Gianna. The scripture says, bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And these commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home, when you walk in the road, and when you lie down, when you get up. Brad and Gianna, as you engage in this task with joy and peace, may, your, may you earnestly seek the Lord daily for his wisdom. For all the events that will occur, all the decisions to be made, all the needs to be met. For as James says, if you lack any wisdom, uh, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally. He upbraids not, and it sh shall be given unto you. May you also daily give thanks to God for your child and for the joy and love she brings to your home. And as she grows, may you earnestly strive to give adequate time and with her develop in her a strong moral foundation for life and an awareness of the Lordship of Christ and His abiding presence. Anna Rose also has the benefit of the influence provided by her extended family, and their members, I believe, scattered all throughout the sanctuary this morning. They're being asked to provide support for her spiritual training as well. And at this time, I ask all those extended families of Brad and Gianna and Anna Rose, would you stand, please, to receive your charge? Amen. Thank you. It is your responsibility to provide a caring, supportive family, a group for this family. I ask you to be faithful in prayer for them, undergird them in their efforts to establish a strong Christian home built on Christian principles. And I urge you to demonstrate a real interest in and concern for Anna Rose as she grows physically, mentally, socially, and spiritually. I just remain standing because there's another agent of influence here today, and it is the church. And at this time, members of us, this congregation may stand to evidence their 
acceptance in their part of this responsibility. I charge you all to do all that you can to provide a support uh, and place of worship in this community where Anna Rose may hear the full counsel of God's word. I urge you to be faithful in providing programs for instruction and discipleship, to demonstrate affection and kindness toward all your little ones. And I charge you to covenant before God to set an example by your lives and to maintain an atmosphere in your church which shall inspire Anna Rose to desire the Christian way of life. The rest of the folks in the congregation this morning, would you stand and join us now too as we finish this commitment? And now Brad and Gianna, in sight of God in the presence of these witnesses, do you solemnly undertake to, up, to bring up Anna Rose in the fear and admonition of the Lord? Do you promise early to seek to lead her to accept Jesus Christ as Savior, to serve Him as Lord? And do you pledge to make your home a school for Christian instruction? Brad and Gianna, do you promise, as far as in you lies, to set before your daughter examples of consistent godly living? This is the fun part. Hey, sweetie. Hey, sweetie. I don't always get away with that, and I may not hear. She may start crying. I don't know. Now, in accordance with the examples found in God's holy word, and as a minister in Christ's church, I dedicate you, Anna Rose Carson. <laughs> Unto the Lord, to his service to his will. Look at that smile. <laughs> Let's bow for prayer. Oh God, what an awesome responsibility you've laid in our arms. May we be faithful to the task, all of us, each one, this church, this family, each one. For we pray in Christ's name. Amen. May you be seated. In that you've dedicated your daughter to the Lord, we now lend Anna Rose back to you. And may the grace of God, the guiding presence of the Holy Spirit, help you to bring her up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. There you go, Mommy. Thank you. Be seated. Now we have another family time.